Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here. And if you've been 3D printing for any extent of time, there's a really good chance that you've heard of a add-on for your 3D printer called OctoPrint. Uh, if you don't know what OctoPrint is, I'll give you a brief little explanation. So OctoPrint is something that uh, you can install onto a Raspberry Pi or a similar board, and it basically acts as a wireless controller between your computer to a wireless Raspberry Pi that then is linked via USB to your printer. And I've been using this for years to allow me to not have to run back and forth with a, a little flash drive or micro SD card to monitor multiple printers, um, to not have USB cables running, and if for some reason Windows were to restart, which does seem to happen at the worst timings, then OctoPrint is still running and my print will turn out fine. I've got mine installed on this little Raspberry Pi right here. This is my latest install. But one thing that I have not been doing is checking out the plugins that are available for OctoPrint. I've just been using it for its really bare bones usage, which is great, but there's a lot of really cool plugins that I've gotten to play around with lately, and I figured that I would share with you guys some of my favorite if you haven't tried them out. Uh, maybe this will convince you guys to at least check some out and give you some uh, really good recommendations for some that I think you might find useful. So let's go ahead and get into that. If you do need to install OctoPrint, I have also made tutorials on how to do so on a Raspberry Pi, a standard Pi, as well as a Pi Zero. So I can place links in the description down below in case you do need to actually install that before uh, you can do all the awesome plugins. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first plugin we're going to talk about is called Themify. Themify is a really cool plugin. Uh, I'm a huge fan of customizing things as just about everyone knows my channel Modbot is all about taking things and modifying them to enhance them and make them your own. And Themify does just that. It allows you to customize the overall look and theme of OctoPrint. So uh, there's some pre-configured ones. I use one that I think is called Discord, uh, but it's just a black, darker uh, user interface, which I like over the standard lighter colored interface. And it also allows you to, if you don't like any of the preset ones, completely configure each and every aspect of the colors on Octo, uh, OctoPrint, which is pretty neat. So if you have a really specific theme you want to go for, then you are free to run wild and it makes it really easy to adjust the different uh, little color boxes that will then affect the overlay of OctoPrint. So this one doesn't really add much as far as functionality goes, but it definitely is one that I like and I've uh, it's a lot easier for me on the eyes having a darker background versus the bright white standard background. So I would say if you're looking to customize your uh, Octo Print install, then that is definitely a really cool, really easy to use plugin, and I highly recommend checking that one out. Next up on the list is a plugin called SMS Notifier, which does just that. If a uh, 3D print is completed on your OctoPrint install, it'll actually text your cell phone and it'll tell you that your print is done. You can name the printer. So if you've got multiple printers going, it'll tell you like for my example, it said printer Sidewinder just completed. It'll name the print that completed and how long it took to complete that print. It's really, really cool. It does require you to sign up for Twilio, uh, which is like an online phone service, but it's, it gives you a $15 free trial and it seems like it doesn't actually charge you at all um, if you're just using it with your own cell phone linked to it. So if it does charge you, it's less than a penny per text. So with that $15 it gives you, you can print a ton of prints. I doubt you'll ever run out, but it's a really cool feature. Um, I'm often running around doing a ton of different things and when I'm in my room, no worries, it's cool. I can see that my print's done, but if I'm out running around working on stuff and uh, you know it's a multi-part print, Getting an instant text to my phone saying, hey, your print's done is awesome. I think that that's something that's really useful. And people that are uh, either hobbyists or even running little businesses, I think that knowing, uh, again, instantly when your prints are done on your phone is a really awesome feature that uh, a lot of you guys could appreciate. So highly recommend that one as well. Third up on the list is a bigger one that I would say most people that are familiar with OctoPrint have heard of. It's called Octolapse. It basically allows you to make really, really cool custom time lapses of your 3D prints. Uh, if you've ever seen the time lapses that people do where it appears like the 3D print is just gr uh, growing out of thin air and nothing on the printer is moving except for that print, well, Octolapse is typically what people are using. Um, you can easily hook up a USB webcam. There's a really cool add-on that will allow you to use your DSLR type camera 
Unfortunately, my camera was not compatible. I did try that, so I'm gonna try a kind of more hardware driven version, but for this video, the example you're seeing is just from my standard um, C920 Logitech webcam. It's really as easy as plugging in, setting it uh, up exactly how you want it, and then choosing a couple basic settings. Um, really, really good and a really awesome, fun plugin, even if you're not even if you're not creating content for people and you just wanna show your friends or post it on Twitter, it's, it's a really cool way to show off um, your 3D prints in a, in a really quick and artsy way. And honestly, once that method of creating time lapses came out, I don't really do much time lapses of 3D printing anymore because I feel like the standard ones where the bed's rocking back and forth really quickly, they look okay, but compared to Octolapse, it's just not even close to the quality. So if you are planning on making time lapses of your 3D prints, then Octolapse is definitely the way to go. And again, that's what the webcam with not the best lighting and not close up enough. So I will be playing around with this a lot more now that I've got it set up to get what I consider uh, close to close to a nice uh, time lapse for you guys, but there's some people out there that have just insanely beautiful Octolapse prints, and if you use that like uh, gyroid infill, it just, it looks amazing. It looks like some alien creation coming up out of the, out of the build surface there. Next on the list is a pretty simple plugin called Navbar Temp, and this one, all it does is it takes your hot end and your bed temperature, and instead of it just being under the temperature tab, it displays it up top above in like the Octo uh, print nav bar. And so this is cool because sometimes when I'm messing around on there, I'm not exactly under the temperature thing, and then I can see from uh, a different screen, like, okay, cool, my hot end is heated up, it's ready for me to load filament or unload filament or start to print. If I'm preheating it, I definitely think that uh, being able to monitor your temps from any of the different tabs within OctoPrint is something useful. So it's again, doesn't do too, too much crazy stuff, but it's still to me something that is useful. I like it, so maybe you guys will like that one as well. Next on the list is heater timeout, which heater timeout is something that does exactly that. If your heater is left on for a certain amount of time, it will actually air out or time out and cause your printer to cool itself down. Now, I am not gonna lie, I do my best to practice safe 3D printing, but there's definitely times where I heat something up to like unload or load and I forget about it completely. Just, I get sidetracked, I get caught with something else, come back later, I'm like, holy crap, my printer's been idle at 260 for quite a while now if I'm loading in some like nylon or something like that. Well, this will not allow you to do that, which is great. So there's a couple of simple settings. You can choose how often to check the current temperature and uh, how long you want it to be at that temperature without anything happening before it times out. So I think a good probably uh, time frame for it to work and not be annoying is something like 10 minutes. If you heat your printer up, yet nothing's happening with it for 10 minutes, then I would say it's probably for most of us uh, a safe bet that we've forgotten about it or something else is going on. So for it to be able to heat, uh, cool itself down on its own, I think is great. And this one to me is actually a big one just because with 3D printing, we all want to be safe. Most of us are printing in a room in our apartment or houses and we live with other people and also don't want to lose our house. So uh, anything we can do to prevent the printer from either killing itself or causing potentially a fire is always uh, really good in my book. And this is such a simple one that if you're using OctoPrint, I almost think it's silly to not have this installed just as a fail safe. Next on the list is another pretty simple but useful one called G-Code Editor, which does just that. So. Uh, some people, you can actually slice directly in OctoPrint. If you upload your Cura profiles, you can just drop in an STL, say it's for PLA, with your PLA profile, it'll slice it and you can print. Uh, I don't do that. I slice in Cura on my desktop, then I export the G-code and upload just the G-code to the uh, OctoPrint, uh, OctoPrint server. So what this will allow you to do is if for some reason I forgot something in my starting G-code, like I forgot my little prime nozzle or I forgot to add my, like, my uh, bed leveling script, it'll actually let you click a little edit button, it'll pop up your G-code in a huge like text file. You can quickly make your edits to the G-code, hit save and then print. So again, really, really simple, but useful, especially if you're not slicing directly in OctoPrint or if for some reason you're away and don't have the ability to uh, Reslice it on your desktop like me. I can just log in to my OctoPrint server. I can edit the G code, I can save it, and I can get the print running with the things that I might have forgotten or the things that I wanted to add. So uh, this one's also good to have. I don't think I'll use it too, too much, but it's nice to have for those times where I do forget something or want to edit the G code manually. 
Last one up on the list is a pretty cool one called Bed Visualizer. Uh, this is only gonna be compatible with 3D printers that have auto bed leveling, so a BL Touch will work, an inductive sensor, really any type of auto bed leveling will work fine. And what this does is it allows you to level your bed and it'll actually create a 3D render a detailed 3D render of the actual surface on your bed showing the high points and the low points and if the back left is quite up uh, quite up higher than the front right or something like that and typically yes you can see these with just the output numbers that it gives you which does a pretty good job of showing you but having a visual is just really really cool and uh, I think useful as well so you can check to see maybe if you have it running before every print and one print turns out uh, you know, nicely, but the next print doesn't turn out nicely. You can see, oh, between these two, uh, these two times running it, the bed has skewed a little bit, and that's why, for some reason, something went wrong with that. So, uh, it's a cool one, and if nothing else, it's just kind of neat to see a visual of what's going on with your bed. And sometimes, I know, like on um, some of the crowding machines, the bed can actually warp a bit, so that'll actually allow you to see if the bed is warped, how much it is warped, and in what areas. It's also just cool to see a colorful render of what your bed looks like. These are just a couple of the OctoPrint plugins that are available. I think when I checked earlier, there was like 150 to 170-ish in the official repository, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's a ton more that are like private ones that people are making for themselves or potentially paid ones. I haven't really looked into paid OctoPrint uh, plugins, but there's a ton of them. So. If you like any of these at all, I highly recommend going over to the repository, taking a look at some of the popular ones or just browsing through, see if anything catches your eye and giving it a, a test run because these can really enhance your 3D printing experience and be providing safety and functionality and features. So there's just so much stuff and the OctoPrint community is really awesome from the developers themselves and to all of the uh, users that are creating these really cool plugins for uh, myself and you guys to use. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you like the content, don't forget to smack the like button, hit subscribe and ring the bell so that way you get notifications. Also, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, I've got a Patreon down below um, that really helps to allow me to purchase things for the channel and keep making uh, this content for you guys. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, just let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace guys.